OneDrive Easy User Guide. First, I go to OneDrive website. I log into my OneDrive account. I have already folders and files on my uh, OneDrive account. So first, uh, I would like to change a name of some folders. I right-click on the folder, use rename, and type a name. And click rename or hit enter. When I right click on the folder, I have options like share, download, rename, delete, move to. It means I can move this folder to another folder. I can copy to another folder. I can create album from this folder. I can amp this folder. I can view details and clear selection. selection. I will explain what share and amped means in a minute. But first, uh, let's take uh, basics. So I can select many folders and files, right click on the files and make an operation on many folders at once. I do not have many options. But still, I have some of this and I can copy all of these selected files and folders to a new location. When I left click on the folder, I will open it. If I want to come back, I just click files. I can also right click on the white field to create a new folder or a new Word document, Excel or other uh, file. I can upload files from my computers and see details. I can turn off details here. When I select a folder or a file I do have options here like creating a new folder or document, upload this file, upload a new file from a computer, open this document, I can share document, download, delete and move copy, rename and amp. They say the same options like I have by right clicking a folder or, or a file. Let's try to share. Uh, let's try to share some of pictures. I have a nice pictures of flowers, of crocuses here. Let's try to select these two pictures and click share. I can share this picture to people by typing a name and uh, it appears a contact, a name, an email from a contact form. If I don't have a, a person in a contact form, I can write an email directly. I can add a quick note, just uh, typing, hey, hi, I sending Thank you, crocuses. And just hit save. I have more options here, like I can choose that uh, recipients of this information, of this message, will uh, can edit photos. I can also choose if this person need to have Microsoft account or not. 
I can create a link to view these pictures or to view and edit these pictures. And I can just send this link and any person who has this link can open these pictures. I can this is very long uh, link so I can shorten this and I open it in a new tab I will have access to these pictures of crocuses yes I can uh, immediately share in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or other social media. I could also empty this picture. What empt means? It will generate an HTML code that we can use in our website or our uh, blog. Let's try it. Generate this, this HTML code. Let's copy it and open new file on our desktop. Open it, paste this code. Word wrap so we can see, hold this code, then click File, Save As, and we should choose Save As, type all files, then, uh, then create a name, websites.withhtml extension. So, system knows that we just create a website. When I open it, it will appear these pictures we amped. As you saw, I didn't paste this picture to this document. I just pasted a code. I amped these pictures. I amped this particular picture to my website file. It means that in this file there is no pictures of crocuses but there is a code which is connected to the place on the internet in this particular example in my OneDrive storage and this code say hey get these pictures from this place and show it on the website okay let's done by clicking on the picture we can we can view it we can uh, add to album we can play it slideshow so it will be a nice uh, show of every pictures we have here We can rotate if it needed, we can download, delete, view original, we can even order prints in uh, Walgreens uh, shop, so if you have one in the neighborhood you can uh, try it. And uh, we can empt, we just talk about empt, okay. If we want to go to main view we click here on the stripes, click files. What's more? I can take, um, I can just uh, take a document or a folder and drag and drop it. So I take this Word document, getting started with OneDrive and put it to test folder. So now this document is moved to a test folder. I open it and here it is a document. If I want to copy it back I just take it, drag it to files and drop. 
and it's back main view of Fizen document. Here we can change language. We can change view. And if you have many of uh, files and folders, we can sort it by size, by date. This is the end of this short explanation how to use OneDrive. Please leave a comment, visit my website ATSB.com, and thanks for watching.